Hi, today I want to talk to you about some books I really, really love. And all of these books have something very special in common. You know how when you open a regular book, if one page is one size, all of the other pages are the same size? Well, some of these books have pages that are different sizes. Some of these books have pages with holes in them. Some of these pages have pages that fold out and get twice as big as the rest of the book. Shall we take a look? This book is called Heads and Tails. It's by Madeline Denis and illustrated by Peggy Nilly. And look, do you see that all the pages, they're stacked almost like a puzzle. And so you can see a character on one page and the character on the next page. So it says, but who's next? And then you can see and guess who's on the next page and on the next page and the next page and the next until you get to the very end when you think it's going to be the crab, right? Because who's next? Oh, but it's not the crab. It's a whale. I love this book. I think it's so clever and it has nice thick pages. So little kids love it. Another book with nice thick pages fold outs and holes is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. So you open it up and you think it's going to be just like any other book. Oh, still feels like any other book. Any other book, but uh, it's not. You see how they're stacked? You can see all of them. So as the caterpillar eats his way through the book, you know this book. There are more holes and it's a counting book too, which is a lot of fun, but look at all of those holes. I see you. And he gets to the end and he has eaten all the way through the book and he becomes this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. I love the colors in this book. Another book that I really love the colors in is You Are Light and this is by Aaron Becker. And the way that this book is made is that there are holes on all of the pages and the little colored discs of plastic, you see my thumb? They go away on each page as you go through the colors. And then by the end of the book, you can see all the light coming through it. I love that. I also really love the message of this book, which is that you, are light. I see you. You are light. Another book that I really, really love is The Littlest Family's Big Day by Emily Winfield Martin. And there's a surprise inside this book. When you get towards the middle, they have met a giant owl because they are the littlest family. You see the owl is so big that it takes up two whole pages. But what's happening here? What's happening in the middle of the owl? Oh, surprise. The book opens up. And look, home in this book is so big that it takes up four pages. I love that. All of their animal friends. Another very special thing that I really love about this book is that the littlest family is three bears and a fox baby. So some people think this book is about adoption and I do too, and I love it. I love it so much. All right, I have three more books for you that I really love. And the first is a book within a book. So this is Bear's Book. It's by Claire Friedman, illustrated by Allison Friend. And Bear has been searching for a story to write. And when he finally writes a story and shares it with his friends, again, surprise, fold out page, it says Bear's Story by Bear. And then it starts 
the story. Once upon a time, a band of pirates set sail looking for treasure. And then you open it up. And there is Bear's story. And at the end of Bear's story, it says the end, but it's not the end of the story overall. Because then there's Bear reading to his friends, and they just want more stories. And so they go on another adventure. Let me show you that page. Isn't that lovely? Another book within a book book is Billy's Booger, and it's by William Joyce. And this is a memoir book. So William Joyce wrote this about his smaller self having written a story when he was in elementary school. And so when it gets to that point where he tells the story, look how the pages are smaller, this section. And he includes the book that he wrote as a kid, which I think is so clever. And it's told from the perspective of the booger. So the booger is telling the story, which is very funny. There are sometimes boogers that come out of noses when we tell the story because people go, <laughs> you know, but you should always sneeze into your elbow if you can. And then the last book that I want to share with you is another book with holes in it, but it's holes all throughout the book. This is In My Heart, A Book of Feelings by Joe Vitek, illustrated by Christine Bisset. You see this first page is a, is a big heart hole. Hello. And the holes get smaller and smaller and smaller throughout the book. So that here's the middle. Hello, hello, hello. This page is talking about sadness, feeling like an elephant. I feel like that sometimes. When you're sad, does it feel like there's an elephant in your heart? Gray and heavy? Me too. And then on the very last page, it's so small, you can barely see it. I love this book for lots of reasons, not just because of the way that it's made, but also because of what it talks about. It talks about lots of feelings. So there's joy and silliness, and there's also sadness and anger. There's also shyness and, just, and brave. Brave is a lot of fun too. Well, friends, I hope you've liked looking at some of my books. I'll be back soon with some more.